when I was a teenager, I lived here. Can you see that glass? That goes down to an underground level. And, um, and so their windows, you can see there's one at the doormat and one there. They're all the same, all these houses. And so there's a, a, lay, uh, a story underneath the road here. Now, if you're an idiot, you would think that's proof of a mud flood. But really, those windows going down are not because there was this huge mud flood that submerged the bottom story of a lot of old houses. The truth is that they were cellars because they didn't have bloody electricity and so you kept things cool down there and the light is to let light in. The windows are to let light in. And people who are idiots, people who have spent their whole life on a computer and don't know about the physical world, don't think about things like no, having no electricity. So there are these light wells going to an underground um, story, a basement. And I know people who think they're very clever, and they think they're clever because they've been sitting on a computer the whole bloody life, but they will tell you, no, there was this mud flood. A mud flood. Hey, we'll go down here, we'll see if my graffiti's still here. Because this is the back of those houses. And, um, yeah, it was a little punk share house in the 80s. But, um... Is it still here? Looks like it's been painted over with other graffiti. Oh, my graffiti's gone. It was just punk graffiti. Yeah, but anyway, oh, they've all got garages and things now, but there used to be a little backyard, and you'd go in and it would be the underground story. And it wasn't anything to do with a mud flood, it was just that those houses were built before electricity. And they had a cellar to keep things cool, and these windows in the floor to let it down. Sometimes you see they have a shaft down to actual big windows. And people who have no knowledge of the physical world say, oh, there must have been a mud flood. These bottom stories of the houses have been covered up by mud. Uh, but they're just showing you that they're a complete idiot, a fool. Another thing about those underground levels, the light coming through is diffused because the sun's not shining directly. And the diffused light is an even light. And draftsmen would have their offices in that subterranean level because the light was diffused and artists would use it. Artists will either be in a cell, would either be in a cellar or in a, um, or in the southern hemisphere, a southern facing window so they didn't get direct light because the light throughout the day changes and then the colour you're painting changes and so you want to have diffused light and so those underground bits were where artists and draftsmen worked where people kept food cool and they had windows underground to let light in so you mud flood believers understand you idiots you just can't think and the reason is because you've spent your whole life behind a computer screen rather than out in the physical world and if you've lived in the physical world you understand physics and you would think oh those downstairs bits are obviously a cellar to keep things cool and those windows are not because of a mud flood they are to let in light am i just repeating myself i just want to make sure that everyone who believes in the mud flood knows they are an idiot they are stupid they are fools